Screener.com is one of my very favorite free screen recording tools. I love it because if I want to tweet my screen recording directly to Twitter, it's really easy to do that. I love it because I can grab the embed code that we see over here on the right and I can use that to embed it into my blog or embed it into my any of my wiki pages. I can download the file directly to my hard drive if I want to hang on to that and I can also upload it um, to publish it to YouTube. And it's just really, really easy to make a screen recording and um, keep uh, your students uh, up to date with any of the new skills that you want them to learn. And so before you make a screen recording, you have to get an account with Screener. And you do this uh, simply by going to Screener, and that's S-C-R-E-E-N-E-R, -E 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 not E-R, but just R, Screener.com. Um, create yourself an account, and you don't have to use your Twitter account. That's the the cool thing about uh, Screener. Um, some people think that because it's connected to Twitter, well, then it's going to be complicated and they're not going to want to use it. But I really recommend that you use it. It's a free online Flash-based um, uh, application that is integrated with Twitter, but you don't have to use Twitter. And as I said, you can just uh, grab the embed code or you can publish it up to YouTube or whatever you want. You can also follow people um, if you uh, if you find somebody who you think is really interesting. So how you would do this would be in your address bar, which is not showing on the screencast right now. Um, your address bar will say HTTP colon uh, backslash twice screener dot com and then if it's your account it would be as you see right here um, DA Bambic that's my account but I follow uh, Darren Carl Patwa who is a really really interesting fellow um, he teaches math in Winnipeg in Manitoba and he's got lots of really good stuff that I like to see um, and I learn a lot from him. So this is his account right here. And on the screener page, there doesn't seem to be so far any possibility of uh, searching for somebody or um, following somebody. But what I've done is I've, uh, I, I've grabbed this uh, fellow's feed and I added it to my iGoogle page. And so when I'm on iGoogle, I see what his latest screencasts are because I subscribe to them. So that's another really cool feature with Screener. And just by grabbing in the address bar and putting his name in or anybody else's name that you want to follow, you will be able to be up to date with what's going on. And so, you know, my students used it last year for recording their presentations when they were um, working in the anthropology and the psychology class. Um, I've used it, um, I, you know, I, I just, I think that you can't go wrong. It's really easy to use. Um, it's free. It's got lots of different options. And I highly recommend it as one of your tools or one of your students' tools. And I hope that helps.